Yo, when did that happen? A rapping leprechaun? Generic control in the deck goes Moo here back with another kill count. Today we're doing Leprechaun 5, Leprechaun in the Hood, which came out in 2000. And then we're also going to be doing uh, Leprechaun Back to the Hood from 2003 as well. It's another double header. Next week will be Leprechaun Origins, which I believe will be the seventh and final Leprechaun movie, which came out in 2014. So it's been about 10 years. I would imagine we're going to get another one because there was an 11 year gap there. We'll probably get another one next year. Actually, maybe not. I have no idea. But I love these kill counts. You can check out my reaction to Leprechaun 3 which was probably one of the best ones and leprechaun 4 which is probably one of the worst ones where he was in space leave my reaction to that right up there also link down below in the description also in place my channel but all my other kill counts going in chronological order for you to binge watch you all of them also shout out to the patrons because i could not do this if it was not for them three dollars a month to get you all my reaction videos a day early and i really could not do this if it was not for them i do read all your comments whether you're a patron or not whether you're subscribed or not but i hope you are subscribed we're approaching 100 000 subscribers also I might be starting devil may cry 2 today on stream which will certainly be something because that game is uh apparently not great but i'm gonna learn about that i'm gonna learn about leprechaun in the hood i'm gonna learn about leprechaun going back to the hood and it's gonna be an itchy video so let's go ahead and jump on into it oh it's fun okay well uh if anything has to be blurred it's copyright the kill count. or we tally if, like, up the victims and all specific things horses. need to be blurred it's because of and today that we're right looking there. at leprechaun in the hood i don't want this video to have video in that in the hood that is issue. an easy target for people looking to piss on the leprechaun series which obviously Why? i love to do because of Wait, its high concept title and prima facie absurdity and to be sure it is a silly movie with a painfully low uh, budget and at least one pretty low? problematic component but it's also one of the best acted and most character driven <sighs> entries in the series actors and we watch for the characters sean null and red grant play three hopeful rap artists trying to make their way out of the hood and bring a lot of serious emotion to their roles. I care way more about these characters have than they I do any Jen, have Dick, or Morty of the previous films. Have they so had don't any get too roles? excited because in the end, this is still a Leprechaun movie. But let's see how many kills the little shit racks up in this one. Uh, probably somewhere between a lot and a little. The movie begins with, wait, that's the beginning of the first one. It just has a new voiceover telling us the title of the movie we're Yo, about Yo, the budget's that low. You can. The future's not good, for no one is safe from a lap. In the hood. Next thing you know, Ice T and a crazy Afro wig are looking through a hole. Wait, is that actually Ice T? Ice T is Mac Daddy Onassis, and this is the seventh. I've heard of Ice T. Evidenced by his black exploitation attire and the disco funk playing underneath the whole sequence. Mac Daddy gets pissed at his buddy Slug for talking about the malt liquor someone left in the subway what? tunnel, so he throws him through a wall, revealing a little room with a statue of Leprechaun, it? the medallion around his neck. So oh. I guess we're continuing the lore from part three and pretending Who like put the, the space movie never happened. You know what? That works for me. The new addition <laughs> to left lore in this flick is a golden flute, which is the only thing Mac Daddy claims for himself. Why? He tells his hair picking pal to take whatever he wants, and Slug goes straight for the medallion, okay, moving why? it from Lep's neck and waking up the Lep on from who knows how long slumber. Lep could use a good hair brushing after all that sleepy time, so he grabs the pick and, oh, no, he's probably oh. just gonna kill that dude with it, huh? Nope. Slug backs up nope. and drops the medallion, and next thing Mac Daddy knows, he's down a lackey due to a pick in the throat. I oh. feel like the Slug manages to take it out of his throat before he falls to the ground dead. Mac Daddy uh. sees the nasty Leppy boy and starts pulling all sorts of weapons out of that prop with <laughs> Lep simply magics them all away. They knew what they were doing to take a seat. But before Lep can spill that iced tea for good, Mac Daddy opens up a pipe that knocks the leprechaun back and sends the medallion flying in the air at a perfect arc to land the around Lep's neck. Ready for some oh. low budget filmmaking? Yeah, his transition to stone is it's done in friggin' Photoshop close-up. Literally, and that's all it is. really an appalling sight. But the important takeaway oh. of this cold open is that iced tea wins. Let's jump to the what? present, which means the year 2000 in Compton, oh, California. The rap trio okay. led by Postmaster P is auditioning to Postmaster get into a Las Vegas P. competition that could lead them to fame and acclaim. Real talk, although P's beats and rhymes are pretty weak. You gotta love the message he's dealing. What P, positivity. Okay. Hopefully I don't have to like, you know, yeah, man. cut he's any of this dude, out. Talking Copyright about being or... good people and shit. Too bad they're kind of or fuck blur. ups and DJ Butch blows a speaker, ruining oh, their audition. Wow, and that is, out. is that really what happens? The world's longest long take. And heads up, there are a lot of them. Spelled by movies, 400. You're gonna see a lot of those white flashes that I used to hide jump cuts. I just think the movie didn't have the budget to film scenes with different angles. But hey, you know what? They still made a movie. Maybe by following P's mantra. She got to think positive. They go to a yeah, true. Pie. That doesn't no, make the best movie though. Another pawn shop. Yeah, Are we gonna spend a bunch of time in there? To owner Jackie D, saying it was Hendrix's, but he ain't buying it. We learn a little more okay. about the other characters here. Stray Bullet is a hustler. How'd who's you get to that? Make it big no matter what. And Butch is a science nerd who also looks and acts like a Jordan Peele character. And Postmaster P. <laughs> Postmaster, what is that shit? You ain't never been in the military. No, it's Postmaster P because I deliver a positive message, man. That's all. Oh, that's to actually pretty cool. Guitar trick with another store owner, Chow, but he doesn't fall for it either. With no money to fix that blown speed. 
speaker. They're in dire straits when they see Mac Daddy Onassis, Ooh. who has become something of a mogul. Stray is super because impressed of by his success, but Post dismisses him because he feels the gangster rap. When Mac Daddy stops his car to talk a little shit to him, Stray man just to flute him magical? Give them a listen. Mac takes him to his office, where he keeps his frozen leprechaun, and listens to their track, offering some very measured criticism. It's not much, but it's not the worst. He agrees uh, to take them on, but only if they're willing to change the direction of the music to a much more aggressive uh, yeah, of course, because that's Shoot your motherfucking homeboy in the face type shit. Stray's down oh, for that for sure. Don't, P don't, stands for pro. Don't do that. And Mac Daddy's time is not to be wasted. Get the fuck out of here! Without a uh, new speaker, well, they can't perform in another audition or get to that oh, nebulous so Vegas speaker. competition. So Stray says they should sneak into Mac's place and steal the medallion they saw on the leprechaun statue in his office. Kind of like robbing Green. the hood. We're going to be robbing in the hood. <laughs> but P stands for personal property rights and says he won't participate, especially when okay, Stray starts talking about I'm glad he has morals. But later on, when Stray and Butch are pumping themselves up to get her done, they're surprised to find Postmaster P joining them just, oh, uh, wait. just as soon as he can get to them. Maybe a dissolve would help. Why? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still taking a while. Try another dissolves one, are actually There we go. He in got the movie. there. Wait, you really? Can they bust into Mac Daddy's office. Instead which, of this light just is most definitely shooting set in a film school. And they raid the place as Butch does some science nerd shit to the glass case with the left. Stray finds gold chains, P finds a handgun, and that's when Mac Daddy enters for some midnight oil burning business uh, work. Butch's oh, bomb really? goes and off that... and P ends up shooting Mac Daddy in the chest. Oh! Turning this into a much bigger deal this, than just a robbery. This Still, got crazy. Crazy real through, quick. I guess. They grab the medallion and Post even grabs the flute from Mac Daddy's person. But right before uh, they're in the well, beer, they hear a nasty leprechaun. happy laugh coming from behind them. Unhappy gold, you thieving hoods. You got uh, more loot than Tiger Woods. Ooh, no. Left. You're like an embarrassing drunkle. They shoot the nasty looking up. I didn't understand how good Tiger because, Woods obviously. was at golf until Butch I started the golfing. On their way out the door. That's I knew why they call him Butterfinger amazing. Butch. Well, Lep's able um, to pull himself together and rise up out of some smoke right as Mac Daddy recovers from the slug that was stopped by one of his so, gold chains. What? But when he sees oh, that Lep's all say, and why pissed, they fly he tails like it out of there. Mac Daddy goes to a nightclub hmm. and ducks into the bathroom. But by now, and then Leprechaun's gonna be there. It's like the number two place to run into Leprechauns. After pawn shops, of course. Yeah, sure enough, right as he lights up the to relax, Lep appears and is the kind of guy to immediately ask for a hit. Careful, Mac. You know he's probably gonna bogart it. Nah, instead, Lep's what like an bogart? art school freshman when he's high and just starts reciting poetry. A friend with weed is a friend indeed, but a friend with coal is the best I'm told. He plays an old favorite okay. and breaks off Mac's finger for his gold ring, then sends Mac away, telling him to go find his gold. I'm gonna kill that little green motherfucker with my fucking finger! On his way out, Lep gets into a fight with the bartender, and when the dude goes to hit him with a mic stand, Lep shocks the hell out of him with some poorly done green oh, lightning God. streaks. They go on for a while and finish by going into the dude's eyes, turning them green. The trio of pro tags go back okay. to Jackie D's, where they traded some of their that. stolen Lep gold for new sound equipment. The Post isn't interested in boring business deals. He's interested in that gold flute, which he blows into on a whim, which I don't that what it creates a magical sound that both alerts Lep remotely to its use and hypnotizes everyone around it. What do you well, mean he hypnotize? Figure out when he got that gold vape pen. The others <laughs> snap out of the ruminations and they go to Chow's place. And one of those. Do they have any? They obviously, couldn't shoot from the other any end. Any recollection of that? A reverse shot of Chow, which is a damn shame when he starts dancing. I want a close up of that dude. Chow get down hard with his bad self. Go for I it, Chow. Chow. The same thing happens as before. The flute is blown and so is everyone's fucking mind. Wait, but, why is Lep but in like Lep a is bar fine. now? And who are those girls? And why Yo, are they sleeping? with sunglasses on. That night, Lep visits I'm, Jackie D I, and tells him he wants his gold. Is that a sword? But the gold Jackie D has given up comes from his line deliveries. Well, I ain't buying no Halloween costumes, so you better just trick or treat your little ass on out of here. Lep leaves without us ever getting a reverse shot okay. on his budget, but later, Jackie budget. stops his car on his way home is it just to find time a woman he recognizes in the middle of the street. Jackie C? Yep, it looks like she wants that Jackie D. It's Jackie Leprechaun. She starts feeling all over her Jackie T's and her Jackie B and gets so damn excited about the thought of her Jackie V, he doesn't notice <laughs> that she turns into a Lep lady till he's already got a half chop. Uh, what would that oh. be? A grind me fat boy? Weirdly though, uh, that's not actually Leprechaun like these apparitions who is it? are, because he's inside like a trunk or something, and just wait, listening was to Jackie D getting killed out there, which is supremely lame. Wait, P so stands who, for Peepin' Tom, who is that? Post sits on a roof looking in on his own party. He's not proud of his the own they party to achieve this wealth, even though Stray just says they gotta look to the future and think about how things will be different. I mean, they Besides, gotta blow through all that money. not feel too guilty about that murder, because back from oh. the grave is Mac Daddy Onassis. Oh. He is pissed off. He yells they have anybody outside but when they deny lookout? knowing anything about it he's done playing games his mm. fucked up finger gives them just enough time to jump down from the roof they're on top of and run away through the alley as max bodyguard shoots oh, at them with These sunglasses on at night maybe if you didn't have those on at. so they plan to just lay low until their audition that'll get them to the fireworks factory mm -hmm. or, i mean vegas since mac daddy knows everyone they seek shelter at miss fontaine's a transgender character who is not handled great unfortunately and unsurprisingly what do you mean handled she agrees to great. let them stay what? with her as long as they let her hang out at their rehearsal which they do on fontaine's back patio film set. Their practice is interrupted by a bottle-tossing Statler, or maybe Waldorf. But P stands for Wal playing that 
Yeah, hold Fluke on. and airy sounds when the naysay are over. Flute practice turns into a full-on performance with a big crowd of people. But again, hard not to what, notice that there are no pockets? shots from the Also, outside. it looks it warm, it real obvious but he's wearing a this is jacket. Film set, and that behind that crowd is the film crew. Then Lup kills Chow. Maybe this the crowd is the film fast. crew. He just appears at his store and chokes him to death. The only oh, no, thing Chow. that's really interesting about the kill is that Lep then apparently took the time to pickle Chow's body parts. But come on, Lep, you're looking for how does Lep know how to do that? Side hobbies like this. He gets to Miss Fontaine's place to collect his flute, but she's frozen for all this time. Leads him into her bedroom. This character's very unfortunate inclusion in this movie ends with the leprechaun killing her in bed through unknown means. But you know what? Let's just go ahead and leave those unknown. Post and the others see the oh. little lep man in the apartment and hide from him in a different part of the film set as he angrily searches for his gold. Showing off the science You're looking skills, there. Butch uses the chemicals from a douche and some KY jelly to create a combustible trap for the leprechaun. Then straight Why is that to come after them and combustible. the trap actually works. That lep goes up in flames and what's oh. actually oh. a kind of impressive if super obvious fire stunt. But I love watching people well, yeah, obviously. run around on fire, so no complaints here. The guys Seems head like to a, a fun church job. to find sanctuary from the leprechaun demon that afflicts them. And in the morning, they're woken up can by the leprechaun. Go, Hansen, leprechaun go to the church, right? If they agree to be the musical act for that day's sermon. So they get robed That's up as little choir boys and start trying to free. I mean, they have the a positive message, so I can see this setup, happening. Stray can't help but be profane. Jesus loves me. This I know. If he don't, I find a and these people are good, God-fearing Christians who don't need that devil speak in their ears. So they go to leave oh. and start a letter-writing campaign, I'm sure. But and P stands for preserving the faith, and he unleashes the power of the flute on all these people. It and doesn't even like play a note. He just Hell, like blows into it. Drags in Coolio off the streets. Yo, that but Coolio. So, I don't know who Coolio oh, is. Here it goes. We've got a full-on rap performance. Oh, up he kind of reminds me of. Runs house. Oh, he reminds me of another actor. People are loving it. Stray is awed by the power of the flute, but there's no time to be full of wonder, y'all, because they see out the window that Mac Daddy is here. Does nobody else try the stairs flute? Where a Scooby-Doo-like physical gag reveals that the leprechaun is also trapped. Ah! <laughs> Yep, that's literally Scooby Doo. They try He's to slap more, but Mac traps him in the hallway at gunpoint. Oh, well. He's not about to believe Post when he tries to tell him that Leprechaun is right behind him. To really enter with a bang, Lep straight up blows a hole through Mac oh. Daddy's bodyguard, which leaves me wondering who guards the bodyguard's body. Mac Daddy I, runs that's off a wholesome rap Wait, really? He's just walked off. Hansen's office. The Leprechaun torments them by, Wait, what the fuck is he doing? Just scratching at the door like a Didn't dog. Didn't he just, like, to go literally outside? just what? do this in a huge Eventually, hole in somebody's he chest? Trying to up knock here? It down, but Post has an idea. See, he saw this in a movie once. It might have been called something like Leprechaun 2, maybe. But all you oh, got to do is get this big-ass safe and wait for the Why do they have a safe? The also, the Leprechaun not it's see a it? A okay. Box. With Lep locked up tight, the boys turn back to How the music ambitions the and try works. to record the flute's effects to tape. But it doesn't seem to work. I guess they're going to have to be one of those bands that just sounds better live. Like Fish. They leave for their audition and, what? uh, hey Lep, how are you even going to get out of this one? I summon you, me zombie fly girls. Um, I'm how, sorry. What? What, what yeah, did you just say? I zombie fly girls? That earlier shot were of these? Were his quote-unquote zombie fly girls and now one of them is here to seduce were the those the ones real gross, that were sleeping fast. next to him My specialty before is the gift of tongues but maybe keep that tongue in your mouth, Reverend, because that chick's got green eyes. Uh-oh, that's that a red flag. freed Lep from the safe and allowed him to shove his hands through hands I... back to kill him. I mean, cool kill and all, but how'd he get out of that safe? The boys that get to their maybe audition they, and blow they that did? flute, so in no time at all, it becomes another bumping concert. Shot from a single angle, of course. But hey, you know what? You can still make a cool music video with only three walls. Just gotta get uh -huh. the artsy shots, you know? Like the classic high-angle back of thigh shot. Got that's... it? Like Jones would be proud. They head well, back seriously, to the what was the room, point of that angle? Set, and are celebrating their success success when the movie's only white character walks in. Dude's oh, wait, the typical out-of-touch white guy as he tells them he's from a big-time Also, what company. that outfit. As charge, homeboy. Furthermore, he says they've made the finals at the Vegas fireworks competition because their music oh. is so dope. The kids are down with it. Good work, guys, but don't celebrate too Yeah, hard, definitely out of touch. Seth's walls aren't that uh, Yep, shit, see, you went too wow, high. Wow, we are literally right the top of that set's wall. Top of you the set wall? You can literally see right over them and into another room. Damn, oh, that's stars. hilarious. This production could afford three tight gold dresses for the zombie fly girls. Also, so stroll into the dressing room and show that, off their emerald that, eyes. That's a white Lep character. comes in after them and kindly asks for his flute. When Stray responds with a gun, Lep takes over his motor functions and forces him to shoot around in the air. Then there's oh. a legitimately tense well, scene that... where Lep puts the gun to Butch's head and demands oh. the flute, but Poe still kind of hesitates to hand it over. It's really what? rare for a late sequel slasher to have protagonists that you root for more than the franchise's villain, but that's, that's definitely I mean, the case. Yeah, no, these these are... three dudes are all super real, and we don't want to see any of them die. So it's a huge relief when Poe I mean, finally comes pretty dope. to his senses and hands over the flute. Lep 
up relinquishes his magic and lowers the gun from Butch's head. And on his way out, taunts how they'll never be stars. But that makes oh. P stand for poorly thought out actions. And Why would you do this? Lep holds him off with magic. Bro, literally, you, he just did magic and you're like, Stray's mm. hand back around and puts it straight up to his chin. The scene then cuts to black and yeah, man, Lep made Stray shoot oh. himself. Since the next scene shows Post putting Stray's body in an abandoned vehicle. Like I said, Maybe you don't move actually has the body? emotional weight to it. And it's played actually, how would you explain it? Bush laments to Post that it's all over and leaves. But Post doesn't seem content. Also, this is the same place they were at before. Maybe he didn't die, Post, because open that door, dude. It's Stray. And he's ready to party, dog. What? Nah, that's just a dream. Stray is still dead. And dude, oh. Post is fucking ripped. When did that happen? P stands for pectoralis, son. He opens the door to find Butch wearing some stupid light-up glasses. Uh, Butch is there with some new knowledge from a Leprechauns for Dummies book. He has a plan that involves a callback to the original. Is we got clovers in it. Four-leaf clovers. Butch says there's an easy uh, way to get close to it. All they've got to do is cross-dress. There's a surprisingly lengthy montage of Butch and Post getting done up in their best drag attire, and it's got a strangely sincere okay. tone to it. Okay, how do they know how to do this? Because I'm pretty sure most of the time you need, like... <laughs> like kind of like really a guide like someone knows what they're doing but wearing makeup isn't the only transformation post is going through because it looks like p stands for packing and then but a hip-hop thing they meet up with the zombie fly girls and smoke them down with the four-leaf clover weed which breaks their spell but not before they awkwardly recite the lep's infamous rap the sunglasses in the hood. come to do no good Lep in the hood come, come to do no good post and butch okay. take an elevator to what has to be the single worst looking location in this movie and that includes the uh, room where we saw over the set's wall what I mean, is look at this what place. is this? It's the backstage of a fucking theater where they store the lighting equipment and backdrops. Literally, this is yeah. Up embarrassing, man. Post gets up close to the left. I and mean, gets up to smoke unless the you know. And I'm pretty sure Lep makes a limerick about his Lep dick. Sit down, sit down, my healthy filly. You're about to meet a club named Billy. Gross. Oh, he tries oh, to move okay. Post's well. hand to his Lep lap, but the weed kicks in and the little guy zonks out in the nick of time. Post grabs oh. the flute and clacks away on his heels. Maybe get so the medallion too, because there'd be gunshots in the air. Curtis Why? Of Mac Daddy. Oh, oh yeah, he's back. Butch got shot. Yo, Damn, when man, did that happen? Out of nowhere. But I guess if they're gonna kill Stray, there's no reason to believe that Butch would make it out. That's of true. Line. That's yeah. a shame, dude. He never even got to meet Liam Neeson. Now P stands for proportional punishment, because even after <laughs> Max says he's got the only thing that can defeat the Leprechaun, Post shoots Mac three times like he did oh. Butch. Once in the shoulder, then the gut. Then in the, you know, just general yeah. torso area. Lep yep, comes that's downstairs fair. and knocks Post on his ass against the pole. Ooh, oh, uh, remember that you're in a dress there, dude. Maybe just, like, close your... <laughs> no, 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 right. no well, not doing that. Out. Mac Daddy gets back up and takes How? a chair to Lep's head. Fuck off. Why? He just pisses Lep off, though, and he does another magic oh. bullet straight into Mac's gut, blowing him apart and finally killing him once and for all. And he throws the medallion. He happened to toss the medallion. Once again, he like, conveniently Ugh. comes down Ugh. at the perfect trajectory to snare the little Lep shit. Or at least we assume that's what happens when the screen goes black and we hear Lep scream. Cut to a Dude, be great at horseshoes. Where Postmaster P is giving a very smoky performance of the same four fucking lines over and over. Seriously, the song is so repetitive, it sounds it? like it's by Fatboy Slim. The movie ends with Who? Post taking off his glasses to reveal some zombie fly boy eyes. Why? It looks like he's got a new manager. I taught him everything he knows. Oh. Oh, yeah. So where did okay, the medallion that's go? that's the end of the movie. No, 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 for real, we don't need to show this last little tidbit. I come from the land of the Irish. A oh, rapping okay, leprechaun? From the Emerald Isle to your place in the hood. I'm the man of... Emerald food. Isle, come like, no where's good. Emerald Isle? Yep, it's Lep in the Hood, like, come to do no good. An awful song. I've been to Emerald Isle, but it might not be that one. He hypnotizes the zombie fly girls. This definitely leads me to believe that this scene was supposed to take place earlier in the movie and that they moved it for some reason. Not sure I was why just gonna exactly, like, uh, but maybe it's because Warwick Davis and these fly girls can't even sing the chorus in unison or on beat. Lep in the Hood? Was there a trailer for this movie? Because I feel like they the use this. Girls just do some weird looking dance moves over the credits. Man, there's no way those girls got paid enough for this. There, we went to the hood. Was it everything you hoped it would be? Let's see if the numbers stack up and get to that. Oh, Lucy Lord. will help me. Aww. Lucy the cat come to do no good. I miss my Lucy cats. Lucy the cat come to do no good. I miss the kittens. I miss the boys. I haven't seen them in two Ten weeks. Ten people died in Leprechaun in the Hood. Okay. Again, slightly surpassing the prior movie. Yeah, The victims slightly. consisted of one woman it's and nine men. And uh, don't be a dick in the comments about that, all right? <laughs> With a runtime of 91 minutes, that comes out to a kill on average every 9.1 minutes. Uh, I'll give the golden chainsaw for coolest kill to Mac Daddy's bodyguard. Yeah, it's just out of nowhere. It's the first time so Lep showed I'll that go kind of the power. Through the torso. At the very least, it's a pretty fun sight gag. Doll Machete for lamest mm. kill definitely yeah. goes to Jackie D, who you just hear really? yelling while Lep listens from some oh, weird little yeah. space. I was about to say the 
uh, and that's it. Leprechaun in the Hood was released to video what, in 2000, Stray? and would yeah. get its own little sequel three years later when Leprechaun went back to the Hood. We'll Why did they feel Monday, like it was going to be the biggest Tuesday second season. one? This has been the Kill Count. Thanks We're doing both of them, so let's Kill do it. Count. If you didn't know, we now have Final Girl t-shirts available at DeadMeatStore.com. Also, if you didn't you see, we're now releasing the Dead Meat podcast in video form on the channel. Ah, uh, yes. Every Tuesday, I remember just podcasts for were just... New episodes, me and Chelsea, and sometimes Lucy. Aww. Lucy the cat come to do no good. Lucy the cat come to do <laughs> so no chill. good. Aww. Be good kitties. So cute. Oh, I miss the kittens. I miss the boys. Oh man! Welcome to the Kill Count, where we tell oh, yeah, you. Yeah, I remember podcasts were literally just like audio, and now they always have a video. I'm James A. Janice, and today we're looking at Leprechaun: Back to the Hood, released because to video in 2000. I guess back they were the like, oh, let's do this with a little bit more budget. Films, not even what? the one it's purportedly going back to. But one thing it does share with that movie is having a real talented cast. The quartet of lead actors are Tangi Miller, Laz Alonzo, Paige Kennedy, and Sherry Jackson, and all of them put in serious performances that are leagues better than what we got in those first four movies. Shit, Laz Alonzo's so good, he wound up in a fast and Furious and friggin' Avatar. Wait, Writer director Steven Ira like, Louie changed Avatar, up Avatar like the blue people movie, one? I've never seen that. I have seen Fast and Magic, Furious though. And instead turned him into an ancient evil folk creature. Okay, I can already tell the budget's higher. I personally really dig. Hopefully Warwick Davis liked it too, since this would be his last time playing the little shit. How many kills did Davis so get on Who plays Leprechaun next? Hood? Let's find out and get to that. Oh no. No more, no more Warwick Davis. Davis, Warwick Disney Davis. That's a name. Telling us backstory through some pretty cool animation. Yeah. Found that leprechauns are forest spirits who guarded their gold. Apparently they're fairies. The apparently. Side according. note, I've seen some kill counts online include knights and kings who die in this animation, but I'm not going to put them on my list because it's more of a folk tale told within the movie. Anyway, when the uh, leprechauns yeah. considered their job done, they went back to living in the woods, all except for one little shit who refused to go back home. Are you too good for somebody your said own leprechaun? What his name is? Answer me. Cut to this dude, Father Jacob, who's looking like a leprechaun. Or or something. I don't sweaty. think it's so off as Roger that he attacks wrong. a friggin' Lepcon? rainbow with a shovel. Know. Careful there, man. You might accidentally hit that little lad who loves berries and cream. Eventually, we see what he's so afraid of. It's Lepcon I get that reference. Cool new cloak. Looking kind of babadooky there, Leppy boy. Jacob gets all crazy eyed and starts splashing the Leperduk with some holy clover water. Damn, Clovis. Lep oh, clover so water. Okay, I was gonna say holy water. Stabby fight. Jacob comes out on top and banishes Lep back into the earth from whence he came. So Lep oh, gets dragged down okay. to the ground by a bunch of hands. Man, well, whose hands? Freddy Glove would pop up and grab his little leprechaun. Oh, yeah. Pretty versus Jacob Jason. Apologizes to this youth or the, uh, and dies. the teaser for that. that weird shiny CG blood coming out of him, but whatever, mm. I guess. Go with God, Jacob. That's it's not one amazing. Year later now, and it doesn't look like that youth center ever came soon. The project died with Father Jacob, as we only, learned from our soon to be heroes, year. Emily, and her friends Lisa and Jamie. Lisa's great because she's real good at spelling out the movie's themes without any subtlety. How come every time something good's about to happen, somebody always got to go and fuck it up? <laughs> Jamie, meanwhile, is in some serious shit with this dude. How many people are in that car? Money for drugs, Natch. So Watson shakes him down, takes his shoes and gives him till the end of the week to pay him. Sounds like Jamie's life. This is Friday? A serious U-turn. Watson's also got a problem with Emily's ex-boyfriend Rory, who's new to the drug dealing game and has been selling in Watson's don't, territory. Don't. Must be working for him don't though. Don't do that. He's obviously making enough to live out his anime-inspired dreams with his little cap and jacket and motorcycle. It's so cute. <laughs> Watson's Lieutenant Cedric, played by rapper Sticky Fingers, talks mad uh -huh. shit. But you know how much Rory gives a fuck? The amount it takes to do a drive-by batting. Boom! It's a home oh, run. And where, Watson where did the bat come from? Emily and Lisa have a little car malfunction, which a little? is another overt thematic statement from Lisa. What's it gonna get better for Sam? Why our lives gotta be like this? Also, Emily can't they like ride in the tow truck usually? Don't they be riding at a beauty salon while she tries to save up for college? Some peanut gallery ladies make fun of her for wanting to go to Kansas State, but Emily's bigger annoyance What's is wrong with Chanel, Kansas Chick State? Rex Rory, and they're the... the absolutely lovely oh. Sharp. Can I get some service up in here? Okay, so her character's not exactly they're not the... lovely. Here, but from my experience watching the the weapon footage at my old job, she is a gem of a person. Emily and Lisa go to a psychic, Esmeralda, who looks into her scale model son and starts Kansas talking to State. Emily about how she lost her man and shit. Way to pick at that scab, lady. But then she excites they, Emily by saying she'll come into riches soon, they but not so fast there, Em, because some freaky deaky light flickering happens Maybe and Esmeralda confused flips Washington out, State. saying the treasure must be I know Washington State. offered because it'll actually be a little shitty. Cue a this fucking page peel transition to a scene where Jamie's getting so movie high he thinks his dog is asking him for a hit. No, uh, no, you <laughs> can't have he finds a four-leaf clover in the weed he bought from Rory, so he oh, goes to complain of course, and tell Rory that he needs better customer service. Do I look like a Kmart? He also tries <laughs> real hard to convince uh, Kmart, Rory that, that the used new to slang exist. everyone's using is the word ninja. Fill with clovers, ninja. Ninja. I don't think it's gonna stick. I don't know who's the more annoying customer for Rory, mm. Jamie or this movie's clueless white dude character who buys Rory's weed for his ambiguous clients. My clients love this. Client. I swear I sell more because of this. Chronic. Jamie brings Rory to oh, a okay. they're all having at the youth center construction site when holy shit. It's a goddamn rainbow. Uh, and it feels so good. Is there going to be a pot of gold? Up in my bod. 
Yeah, I have no idea what that was all about. But when How Miller did they do that? Emily, who who, who just sees that and thing, just goes dancing in Rainbow? Oh. A friggin pit. They didn't get far on that youth center project, but I guess those they were the hands were... Rory runs off to get help, but they Emily broke just ground. decides to okay, explore James, this crazy magical land filled with candles and cobwebs and a fun-sized treasure chest. Rory comes down just in time to join Emily as she opens Marcellus Wallace's briefcase. They count up the who? souls or gold and figure out that there's a whole lot of money here, and Emily's happy to share it equally among the four of them. And Lovecon's good to convince that. We can all benefit from this. Yeah, yeah Spence was gold is? It well, back then, gold that wasn't that Not crazy. because the next thing we get is a montage. And I ain't never seen no fiscally responsible montage. Nah, these ladies buy a car that's probably too expensive and take their riches to I mean, Rodeo Drive, oh, the famously expensive oh, shopping district oh. in the famously expensive Beverly Hills. It's where they Wait, rode horses in the Bachelor. Why are they carrying, like, gift bags? A reference demographic is sure to appreciate. As far as the dudes go, Jamie responsibly what? pays back Watson to get out of debt and he responsibly buys two garbage bags full of weed from him, too. And two garbage bags? Stuff, as well as a Glock for himself. That's not a Glock. She's free to grab his gun whenever she pleases. With his gold leppy powers activated, the lep man awakens, punching oh, no. through his shallow dirt bed to grope the open air above it. He must really okay, want to get well, far from the ground after that burial. So he climbs a tree? tree like a I would love to see Leprechaun climb a tree. A corner. That means he probably found out about this party they're having where they're playing some off-brand Nelly. Oh wow, Jamie I know exactly. Okay, room, yep, so I know exactly what that song's supposed to be. After Jamie leaves with the lady, the Lep shows up and is like, "Pass it to me now." The guy does, and Lep has such a good time, he winds up rolling around on the floor like a little giggle puss. But he sobers up okay, real fast when well, he sees one of his gold shillings that the dude tries I mean, to pocket for himself. Lep oh, well, right in front of him. Four twenty friendly dude with a bong and killing it. Really? Oh, if the bong was sharp enough to impale his torso, how are you about to put your mouth on that thing? Lep That's wanders downstairs because that dude got the munchies, or he's pregnant. Either way, <laughs> he's going for those pickles. It's a real goofball scene since. Jamie never notices it, oh, even slamming he the fridge door in his face. I get that it's supposed to be it's funny, almost like but it's also kind of dumb. Especially when it ends with Jamie accidentally locking Lep inside the fridge I mean, and Lep just hotboxes it. Emily and <laughs> find the Lep's broken the bomb fridge. victim and the cops come to clear the place out. This one That's cop, Officer good. Whitaker, questions Rory like he's in the wire or some shit. You've been making a lot of moves on the street in the past couple of days, Rory. <laughs> oh, you know Don't down that intensity, dude. We're in a leprechaun movie. That's Jamie gets true. arrested for possession of grass clippings and the cops take him away. Meanwhile, Chanel has stolen a coin from Rory and gets it melted down would that be a gold tooth, possession or would that just be like about. Oh, so he's gonna have fun with that later she's supposed to be giving that one lady doria a massage but while em's getting more oil i mean Lep it wouldn't be lap it up he gives doria what would that charge me for that much for some reason she's into it even when he starts walking on her back with his nasty because it wasn't like transporting it but then his killing gene takes over and he just reaches down and breaks this lady's neck this is lep oh. a grade a little shit doria didn't take any of his gold or anything but he just wanted to lep attacks emily and tries to stab her with a pair of scissors but she fights back by grabbing a hair trimmer and stabbing him in the eye with it. It's a oh, well, that's, he's done that green he's blood. Done that. Ew, oh, wait, is she gonna turn Leprechaun now? The, the blood down to the floor. He ends the fun <laughs> it by ripping it out and temporarily losing an yep. eye. Emily runs to fine. Rory and says they have to return everything also, they bought didn't with the, the gold. Blood, like, she tells the same to Jamie when he conveniently drives up to them to deliver a curbside so you think you can dance audition. She's not able to get to Lisa, though, who's home by herself until the Leprechaun comes and trips her to the ground. Oh, well, nobody's like chase with guard. his way through the bathroom door and Lisa using a hairspray flamethrower on his face. Yeah, the shining. going to win this in the end after he appears in the bathroom and leaps on her. Then he How? uses his little left hand to punch a hole into Lisa's stomach. She dies slowly, surely wondering what she did to deserve to have this nasty fuck as the last thing she ever saw. The others get to Lisa's Fair. house and find her body, then retreat back mm. to Emily's house where she says they have to give back all the gold they took. But there's Which... barely anything left since Rory spent most of it. On easy what? Easy when she throws the easy chest at him, Bro, they realize that so it's irresponsible. refilled itself with souls, or gold, and that it's a trick that it can repeat at will, apparently. Emily is still adamant they return it, but while she's in the other room, Rory apparently takes it and bails. Lep oh, comes after Emily that oh, hi. Well, wanting revenge why? the barbershop oh, that's delivered, why. But he sucks so bad that she fends him off with a book. But wait, he's not done Knowledge. yet. Oh, from the top turnbuckle, it's a flying Oh, I was going to say, imagine if he just completely missed. Wind, but, oh my god, so is that funny. Rory's music? It is. And he's there it with a drive-by batting. Oh, it's a signature move. That then Rory uh, your hands runs the so much. over, which is just kind of manslaughter, and he gets Emily to saddle up with him and ride. No helmets, though? after them as the moon fades to morning. Can he, like, teleport? I'm sorry, what was that? Yeah. That's what I thought you said. Uh, that yeah, morning, the Leprechaun Been visits there. Chanel, who doesn't waste any time whipping out the shotgun and shooting Lep with it. Leprechaun. <laughs> but he's fine, of course. And the he tooth. to the ground where he sees something he likes. Yep, it's her gold tooth. Unless you think ripping out a tooth isn't fatal, we see uh -huh. that Lep apparently went overboard when he tosses her jaw to the ground. Uh, Rory and Emily speed up okay, the bus past the cops from earlier, so they uh, wow, of all the cops. Overpass, How did they catch up? wacky Star Wars transition that the editors found in iMovie. They're actually everywhere in this movie. I just don't have the time 
to show you all. That. I could use those same ones. I never have. Treasure box, and since it's illegal to be in possession of that many souls or gold, damn it, it's, Lori it's and Emily definitely get not. And put in the back seat of the cruiser. But don't look now. Leprechaun. It's notorious civil rights lawyer Leprechaun, and he knows those kids just got busted on a trumped up charge. Lep uh, files his complaint with the PD by wait, shipping off the in the gut with his like, own flashlight and tossing him aside. Consider your ass guilty of being dead, Officer Whitaker. Let me guess, the kill count's gonna up just a little bit. Then has a pretty sweet MMA fight. Yo, little shit. Yo, grabs his leg and wait for it. Yeah, look down there, dude. I don't think... Rips it right the fuck off. Do they get that, that kind of training? Lep is oh. holding it in his hands, but Whitaker can't use that anymore. Right away, because after all, it's just a flesh wound. He hops that lep a few times. Dude, that balance is nuts. Reclaim his limb before he finally falls to the ground. All right, he'll call the draw. Lep I mean, there's a major artery the there. Next, but Emily manages to grab the police shotgun and participate in that old reliable pastime of shooting leprechauns. Without well, shotgun. To mention that now I know shotgun shells don't go into the leprechaun. That's the part that falls to the ground empty. Thank you for correcting me in the comments for my leprechaun oh, kill count. Yeah. Now I know better. Rory and Emily scoop up yeah. Jamie so they can Only... get rid of the gold, but then they get cornered by Watson and his crew. Well, and he I mean, it's a shotgun, so it's different. Himself before going to exact some non-monetary revenge. And that's when a police car drives up. Only it's like that part the leaves. The steps out of the vehicle, only for us to see that it's the this part limb of Officer Whitaker. Stays behind. It's actually Leprechaun driving that police car. <laughs> How can Leprechaun Watson, drive? The gold he just took is rightfully hit. Like a full-size car. It was always the little cars. Funny gag. Watson puts him on hold as he takes a call from a lady who's all like, Watson, come here. He's like the audacity. After Watson gets her to take a rain check. Like, can you believe this guy? How do you uppercut somebody that's off three feet tall? Watson to beat the shit out of him. Guess you never saw any of the other Leprechaun movies, Watson, because Lep can take a beating, dude. Leprechaun basically pulls a Manhattan rooftop Jason here, tiring just... Watson out before doing Oh, that was such a good blow, scene. Which in this case means stabbing into Watson's gut and ripping out his still beating prop heart. Wow. Oh. gang takes an oh, okay. liking to Leprechaun and opens fire on him. Oh, fully automatic. That's fine. They just that's tear fine. Into the little shit fully... and get him looking like that part one puppet that fell okay. off the web. Well, then the puppet turns back into war. What are those Dracos? Yeah. Youth slang. What's up, ninjas? Nope, sounds weird. Then he fights yep, them all, nope. but I don't think these first two Actually, be killed. Actually, I'm just I'm rather he say that word than the other one. Cedric, though, after he jumps on him, because you know Leprechaun boy manages to get Lep off, but it's too late. Cedric bleeds out to death as he looks into Rory's eyes, all like, "Hey, man, can you believe a Leprechaun just did this shit to me?" Lep turns uh, his yeah. to Rory next, only to get hit by a car, scary movie style, by Emily and Jamie. They think they're in the clear, but they're not. Is sideshow bobbing no. underneath that car with some real jank looking special effects that only get worse when he looks through a hole in the car floor that he. Uh -huh. They're eventually able to shake him off the vehicle and but you would think he would like mess with some part of some the Esmeralda car like the brakes or something backstory of the leprechauns that we learned in the opening animation sequence and then says that he has two weaknesses his gold and the four leaf clover Good thing Jamie's got At least for keeping the four on him and that it just back. so happens to have clovers in it. Rory gets to work chopping up the clovers and putting them inside the hollow tip bullets for oh. the clock. Then we clock wipe away to Rory and I Jamie getting ready for the big leprechaun showdown. Leppy boy busts down the door and Rory just shoots him friggin' These are hollow point five seven. He puts a few more rounds in him, which causes Lep to bleed out yellow floating bubbles. But when his gun I hate gets when jammed, that happens. Lep just sucks all those little orbs. Why do they jam? Knocks down both Rory and Emily. Jamie well, actually, it's very possible run bat, but that it could jam if he like... Limp the leg it. With it. But guns and baseball bats are boring. Let's have a motherfucking magic fight between Esmeralda and Leprechaun. Hell yeah. She starts hitting him up with some powerful blue magic orbs and shit, and she seems to have the upper hand until Lep's eyes glow red and he growls like a demon. Why? Oh, okay. He's straight further from God with every one of these movies. As well and there's a seventh one. In an exterior shot, meaning we'll never know what dark That's how you spell that name. Killer with, but those storm eyes tell me she's pretty dead. Rory and Emily escape and wind up on top of the roof, but Lep is able to just okay, transport well, to where they are and get we had 10 in the last one, right? Knowledge. So we're gonna have 11 in this one. On pause when she grabs the treasure chest and starts throwing his gold shillings off of the roof and into some drying cement. Oh, Emily's able to get away from the lap and she winds up in a couple of nightmarish mm. locations when he finally catches up to Is her. Is he gonna dig in the cement? To I'm gonna Emily cement opens burn. up the furnace and tosses his chest of gold into it. Then she tosses him inside the flames as well and oh, locks him up. Oh, okay. Like That's gotta be warm. He burns up all nasty like, melting uh. into a gross green sweaty skull. But when Emily goes to get Rory from the rooftop, she's followed by a rainbow. This He's little back. Skittles Motherfucker doesn't know when to stop. He ends up knocking Rory down and throwing of Emily off the Just roof. Just when you thought they were clear. Onto the edge for dear life. Watch oh, that this dude loves playing this little piggy. But looks like the only one going wee 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 today is Leprechaun, because Rory gets his Glock working and shoots not, Leprechaun not with Glock. the remaining clothes. I'm sure the comments are some more loving to tell him that. Bubbles out of his body. As Rory heroically rescues Emily from wow. the edge, Lep man also that grip. Suck those orbs back inside of himself what? again and take like a thousand and one more bullets. How many Seriously, rounds are in that up mag? With those orbs? They don't seem to do anything. Because what really spells the end of Lep is Emily hitting him with the treasure chest and knock I don't think that magazine was down, down, California down compliant. With all of his shillings into a perfectly left-sized little pool of wet cement. Okay, Lep how much really cement is there? Is there no rebar? His way down below the surface, but is that like he's fully submerged. three feet so of concrete? On the list. A rooftop hug signals the end of our story. 
story. Oh wait, let's denouement with also, some basic race sounding it? music over a happy motorcycle montage. That's an R1, okay. Nice. We also get confirmation that Jamie lived. Oh, and look, the youth center finally opened. Nice. The end. Did they Close use that. the gold? Or, or they lose all the hood, gold? But did he pick up more kills on his yes, second visit? Yes, I think let's he did. Let's get to the numbers. Maybe, actually, I don't know. There were 11 victims yeah. in Leprechaun back They, 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 they gotta be doing it on purpose at this point, right? For every like, it's in intentional. Leprechaun movie. Good work, Lep. Yeah. The victims included seven men and four women. The most balanced gender breakdown for a Leprechaun movie yet. That's true. The runtime time of 90 minutes, that comes out to a kill on average every 8.18 minutes. I'll give the golden chainsaw for I mean, they're just gonna have more and more. Whitaker. Tearing a leg off is one of the more graphic kills Lep has done. But what really seems... He's so happy and proud of it. ...to give up and die. As well as the post-mortem use his leg gets for that funny police car gag. Dol oh, Machete yeah. for Famous kill will go to Doria, not only because it's a return to those lame neck snaps from the first couple But she also had nothing to do with us. she didn't do anything, Lep. And that's it. Leprechaun Back to the hey, Hood I came mean, out on video in 2003 and would be more Davis's six. last dance with Leppy Boy. I'll admit that while covering these movies, I've developed a slight fondness uh -huh. for Aha! People say in the comments that he the thing we get eventually grows to we'll appreciate them. reboot on Friday, but yep. until then... The reboot will be next week. It'll probably just be a standalone video. Thanks a lot for watching today's Kill Count. I want to thank a couple of patrons like Lee Chapman and Eddie Vieira. Couldn't do that to patrons. News for you. There's only one Leprechaun movie left. God, and I'm hopefully gonna like make a like a. Uh, Don't expect Leprechaun like Origins to be anything like the cut movies that we thing. just covered. Because it is not. And for uh, everyone wanting to know the next franchise, you'll find out soon. I don't know I'll what see it on is. Friday for that. And unlike that little shit Leprechaun, be good people. I will try to be James. You too. Oh, it's gonna be Saw. That's a that's a really big one. That's a really big Saw. And then Happy Death Day. I've actually seen Happy. How many Saw movies? How many Saw movies did they make? I think I saw The Purge. I think I saw the first pur Purge. I don't think I saw any of the other ones. Though. There's so many movies yet to come that I have never seen. There, I had no idea there was that many Saw movies. Good. Wow. Okay. Well, this is Leprechaun in the Hood and Leprechaun back to the hood. Uh, they, like I said, I hopefully will be making a supercut once I'm done with Leprechaun Origins that has all seven of them in one long video so people can enjoy all of that. So, yeah, no, this is uh, six years ago, probably almost seven years ago at this point. Actually, it's probably he probably did this for St. Patrick's Day or something. But this is... We're almost over Leprechaun. Um... I was very curious how they're going to do Leprechaun in the Hood, and they did not disappoint. I guess this was obviously the year 2000, so or maybe it was filmed in 1999. Well, I, yeah, no, this is Leprechaun. I would love to know what the budget was for these movies. I do look forward to reading your comments, and hopefully I made your day a tiny little bit better. I look forward to reading your comments, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. But until next video, take care, and keep the music. We were